Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a spotlight on Cloud Built. This is a game by Coilworks. It was just released onto Steam. It's currently available for $17.99. That is with the release week discount. Its regular price is $19.99. This is a action platformer. That'd be the best way I think I could describe it in a generic kind of genre term action platformer. You are a ex-military soldier, I guess? I'm not entirely sure that's part of the story that they're trying to work you through. Basically, you're a person, and you are injured, and you're trying to recover your body and mind through this kind of... It's kind of a virtual world, almost uh, Assassin's Creed-ish where you dive into this virtual environment and relive parts of your past. Or, presumably, things might be a little bit uh, derpy with that because you don't really know if this is truly your past or not. So, first, let's head in and check out the options. So here's the game options. This is a third person perspective game with a field of view slider that goes up to 150. Currently we're at 100. Mouse sensitivity for both the X and the Y axis and you can invert them each individually which is quite handy. They are currently set at 3. You can crank them all the way up to 100. You can do, this is a neat option, this tutorial pauses game. You've probably played games before where during the tutorial it decides, you know what, screw you playing the game, we're going to pause the game right when you're over top of this pit of death or being attacked or some such crap. And we're going to pause the action to tell you something that we deem really important that you probably already fucking know. You can do that here. If you click that, you can have that exact same feeling here. I don't know many people that actually like that because normally it's done really, really poorly. This game though, when I originally started playing this, that was defaulted on. So yeah, I got that. And it always paused it right at a decent point. You would have just landed on a platform, you're not doing anything, there's nothing shooting at you, you're fine. Perfectly safe. You can continue making mistakes and you're good. So, you can have it on or off, this game actually does it well. I personally hate it because it breaks my action. In a way I like it because I'm a slow reader and usually miss those little pop-up messages. Anyway. There's also this hide timer until level is cleared, which is kind of nice. These levels are timed. It's, you know, time based, typical kind of action thing. But you can hide the timer so it's not constantly staring at you in the face. Because some people can get kind of agitated with that. That's actually a really nice feature and I'm kind of glad they added it. I actually didn't even think about it when I was first playing it. Primarily because it doesn't bother me. And then you've got the resolution and windowed mode, so you can do 1920 by 1080 which I have. You've got a bunch of different resolutions, pretty standard stuff here. Windowed mode, full screen, and borderless. This is a nice option for some people because, especially for me when I'm recording, I actually like the borderless window mode, but when you're in the game having it lock the cursor, some games do the borderless window and don't lock the cursor, you gotta lock the cursor. This game locks the cursor. Because what I can do with this is I can go over to my second monitor and check on some stats without breaking a recording. That's kind of cool. V-Sync, pretty standard. FPS lock, so you can adjust this. Oop. It goes all the way up to 300 FPS. If you wanted to lock it at 300, not that you'll probably get it, because chances are, if you do, you're going to get massive tearing. Unless you have some magical monitor or CRT monitor that can do that. Yeah, you can also turn the FPS lock right off. 
Now, I'll be honest, I don't know the difference between FPS lock and V-Sync. I have a vague idea, you don't need to explain it because I also don't actually care. But it's nice to have both options. Draw distance, you can crank it up or down. I actually had it cranked up. I'm gonna put it back closer to where it was default. So this is your default. Not that it'll actually save it because I'm not gonna hit apply. Effect draw distance. This is your draw distance for effect. Light draw distance, obviously draw distance for lights. Texture quality, you can, you've can. you got your very low, low, medium, and high. There is no very high. Anisotropic filtering, you're pretty standard. You've got, you know, your even numbers, 2, 4, 8, 16. That's pretty standard. Audio, master volume, game volume, and music volume, all separate. Your master volume controls both. And your game and music volume control, well, this would be your sound effects, and this would be your music. Ta-da! Surprise! Who would have guessed it? And you can mute things. Mute. <laughs> That's actually kind of handy. And then you've got subtitles and prompts language. This is cool. You've got German, French, Spanish, Italian, Russian, Polish, and English. <laughs> which is really cool. I actually really like that they've got all those languages. I barely speak English, so it really doesn't matter to me, but it's kind of nice. One thing I would like to have here is turning subtitles off. I know that I know a lot of people like to have the subtitles off. I know a lot of, a lot of people like to have them on. So it'd be kind of nice to have the choice. And then controls. All of these are rebindable. I personally like the way they are, but you can rebind them if you wanted. I could make that I for some god-awful reason. That'd be confusing as shit, having to do I and then A and... Anyway. <laughs> now, this game does not officially have controller support. I have tested it with my Xbox 360 controller, and it does work. I'm doing air quotes right now, not that you can see it. I don't recommend it. It's not officially supported, and it's, in my opinion, kind of cocked up. <laughs> the controller just does not work very well at all. The control bindings are just all like, Nyah. but I'm assuming they're working on that. That's supposed to come at a later date from what I've read. I don't know when that later date is. I haven't seen anything aside from it's confirmed for after release. So it could be tomorrow, it could be next week, it could be out by the time you see the video, it could come out by the time I close the game. Who knows? I don't. You never know what's going to happen. Um, another thing that I would like to see on here is one more option on the video, and that would be anti-aliasing. The anti-aliasing to me looks good. I'm not, I don't have the best eye. I know a lot of people have better eyes. But anti-aliasing would be a nice option to have because that can affect your performance. You know, if you're running it on an older machine, you, you might want to have, you might want to crank down the anti-aliasing. To me, it looks fine. So anyway, let's hop in. I've babbled enough. And here we are, and 23 cap. That is basically your retries. I don't know what the cap stands for. I don't know if it's an acronym or a short form. Not sure, but it goes away. All I really know is it is your retries. So here we are in this tiny little box with a window with no view. There is absolutely nothing out there. It is just white. I'm assuming that is like an observation room that they've kind of whited out. Or it's just lights. I don't really know. Now yeah, there's those lights. Ah, who knows. So first off, let's take a look at the art style. I actually really like it. I know there's probably a lot of people that don't. It's cell shaded. I call it a dirty cell shade because it's cell shaded, but... The textures look raw, they look old, they look battered in some cases. Not necessarily this, this looks fairly clean, but 
you, you've got the lines, and I, I call it dirty cell shading because it generally makes it look old and like that looks like it's scuffed up, up at the top. It's really, it's really quite nice, and it allows you to do things like easily make her look battered. So this character that we're controlling, that is your avatar. That is the, I guess, the digital form of your character. Because your character is in a kind of a coma and missing a hand. No, got no hand. No hand. Now, one thing I do want to point out is she kind of looks like Tiny Tina to me. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just on crack. But she looks a lot like Tiny Tina. Anyway, there's two interactable things in this. You've got your workstation, which this is, this gives you the story. This tells you what your story is all about, what's actually happening to you, what has happened to you as you progress. I don't know why there's books here. I'm guessing because you may have one point been a reader and this is your room. I really don't know. But the other interactable thing is you. And you press E on yourself and you go to the level selection screen, which is apparently cross between your, a computer and your mind. And there are quite a few of them and they get really hard. Like once you get past, you know, these branch points, you know, kind of two, three levels in, they start getting hard. As you can see, I'm not really that far past. Like I'm here, or sorry, I'm here in this emptiness. This one is just stupid. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm not gonna show that one. If you wanna see that one, by all means, pick up the game and take a look at it. I can barely get past the starting area, which it doesn't show you in the image, but yeah, it, it kills me almost instantly. And these here aren't really, they don't really show the actual level. It's very, very rudimentary of the level. Which I guess is, makes kind of sense. But let's go with the... Let's do no excuse. This one's going to kick my butt, but it should show you most of what this game is about. So you've got your different game modes. You've got your normal, which is your regular play with the regular settings and conditions. You can do no ammo, so you've got no weapon. You have to dodge everything, which, to be honest, isn't that much different than how you have to do it normally because most of these jerks have frickin' shields. Fragile. This one would be a pain in the butt. You can only take one hit, so tread carefully. I will never play in this game mode. Because, yeah, as it is, I die a lot. Pathfinder. See through new eyes as you treasure low energy more than time. What? Okay, that's different. See through new eyes as you treasure low energy more than time. Interesting. I thought Pathfinder was... Unless they're different for different levels... I thought Pathfinder was like infinite energy. And then beacons, you've got different beacons throughout. I have not tried any of these game modes because, well, I'm kind of a chicken. So let's, uh, wow, this, <laughs> this doesn't bode well. <laughs> There's only one person with A ranking. All right, well, let's hop in here and we will show you what this game is about. So here we are, A ranking is 55 seconds, B ranking is 1 minute 29 seconds, C ranking is 2 minutes and 50 seconds. I think I actually got a B ranking on this one, I can't quite remember. So here we are, in our infinite glory and our three pigtails, and we can switch left to right, I don't really care about the timer. The timer will be there because I already beat this level. I don't know why I keep switching. Let's go back to this because that's what I'm used to. So, here we are. We can 
obviously move around and it feels you your character actually feels weighty i i like the way you feel the movement and the visual effects the sound effects everything it tells me this character is wearing you know body armor it, it, you're mobile but you have a good set of armor that can take a bit of beating and then of course you've got a jetpack on your back because well really why the fuck not and oh go away oh Ah, crud. <laughs> I didn't notice the guy up top. So those were bombs. Get. And you have homing shots. So these actually home in on your enemies. Uh, they are dodgeable, I believe. Ah, crud. Now, one thing I don't particularly care for is these particular platforms. The broken stone, the concrete ones. Because it's hard to tell whether or not you can climb up top. Like, presumably, I cannot climb on top of this. But I can. See, I would think that I couldn't. That one, I know I can't. That one, I can. That one, I can. Well, not necessarily climb on top of. But I can climb close to on top of. Alright, so I need to get up there. Boop, boop. So I'm not going to be winning any speed challenge speed challenges today that is for sure all right let's not go that way. whoa get up get up so your character will automatically grab ledges which is quite handy oh freaking hell hey i made it i do not remember this at all whoa i believe i glitched out there <laughs> she couldn't quite figure out if she needed to grasp that or not uh, I believe these here actually prevent you from grabbing. You're not supposed to grab them. They don't always work. There are some bugs and glitches in this game. Uh, I won't be able to climb that, but I can climb that one. But there's nothing up top that I can grab. Uh, can I? Yeah. Oh, sweet. What the hell is shooting at me? All right. Anyway. So we have to get to that blue light. And not... Oh. And the heavy bump. All right. Come on. So I'm probably supposed to actually stop and... Or not stop and jump. Man. It can uh, it controls quite a bit differently when I'm recording than when I'm not recording. There we go. Grab that. Oh, hello. Goodbye. These are health can health canisters. So as you see my blue bar on the left kinda healed up. Alright. Oh, what the balls? The hell? That That's kind of an issue I have. I don't know what it is, but all of a sudden I will stop actually boosting. That time was, you know, I ran out of power. The other time, I actually had full power. See, full power. And there we go. 
And we finally got a checkpoint. That was our first checkpoint. Oh, you bastard. Oh, nice. Didn't think I got it. That that's my that's probably my main problem. Where am I going? Up there. So I need to go that way. Oh, you jerk. All right. I do wish that there was more checkpoints. I personally feel more checkpoints would be lovely cuz you get through some pretty rough spots. And Whew. And you'd like to, you know, get a checkpoint. Like I think there should be a checkpoint up here. Oh. Dang it. Oh man. I am not I am doing horrible here. Ah. Get. And of course, those little bastards, they heal. And boom. That guy, his shield only covers half of him. So once he puts his shield up, if you get behind him, you're fine. All right. Excellent. Ooh. Oh, and this is this is the one I really hated. Oh. Now there are boss or not bosses. There are bad guys that can fly with a shield and will follow you. Those bastards are little pricks. And there we go. We made it. Made it to the end in, what, five minutes? Four minutes and 45 seconds. Oh, damn, yo. D. Worst ranking ever. Uh, but that gives you a really good look at what this game is about. It doesn't give you a good look on, you know, how to play it properly because I really suck at it. Like, there, there's a few problems with it, with the controls, but very, very few. Like, and to be honest, that could be chalked up to something I'm doing. Like, I cannot blame the game for them at this point because I don't really have anything to compare it to, nor do I have anything really... Indicating that it's the game versus my computer or me. Because I screw up a lot. And I will admit that 99% of the problems that I had in there will be me. There were a few that are undecided. <laughs> we'll go with that. So, if this seems like something you might like, I will put a link in the description to the Steam page as well as the developer's webpage. So you can take a look at it yourself. And... That's pretty much all I got here, so thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and we will see you next time.